Hey guys, Chris here again. This week we have a very, very bright guitar. This is the Kiesel JB100 Jason Becker model in Kiesel Racing Green. This is a hilarious looking guitar. I know in my last Kiesel video we talked about not buying clown colored Kiesels, so I broke my own rule a little bit, but this one there's kind of a reason. This is an 80s vibe, I get it. It's a classic wild green reverse headstock shred guitar since it's the jason becker model i thought you know it makes sense i saw this go up on reverb uh sometime i think last week 7.99 that's the craziest deal in the world this guitar with these options at kiesel new is about 1500 bucks i'd say i spec'd one out similarly to this just to check and it was you know 1470 plus you gotta buy a case. And now, unfortunately, you gotta wait a really long time. Kiesel's turnaround time is apparently, uh, last I heard, over six months. L let me know if that's still true or if anybody's ordered something from them recently. So why did Sam Ash post this on Reverb for $7.99? Uh, I think it's probably worth a bit more than that. And the reason is Somebody tried to replace these pickups. They're directly mounted to the body, and whoever did that screwed straight through to the back. Uh, this is not super uncommon, sadly, so it's something you really need to watch out for. If you're swapping out screws and you have a pretty thin, this is, you know, a, about a strat size, this might be a little thinner. It's pretty easy to poke through. Uh, I think Sam Ash did a, you know, C plus repair job. It looks like they patched it up and used a little green sharpie or something. But you know what? It's two tiny dots. It doesn't really affect the guitar and I'll take the 800 bucks off. Definitely. Uh, the other cool thing I noticed is after checking this guitar out, I went to go look at their website to get some of the specs on it. And this is the guitar on the website, which is awesome. So this is like the flagship JB100 that Kiesel chose to put on the front page. So I think that's cool. I verified that because the neck has the same wood grain marks as the one in their picture. So totally neat. <laughs> Let's talk about what is going on with this guitar. The funniest headstock I've ever seen. I love this, but I get that some people will think this is blasphemy. I think it's hilarious. Reverse, it, it does take a minute to get used to because I'm not used to reverse headstocks. So, you know, you're tuning the low string up here and you just kind of got to think about it for a minute, but no big deal. Kiesel locking tuners is always matching Kiesel Racing Green headstock. Uh, we have a really cool little Jason Becker logo on here. I know I've said in the past I don't like people's names on guitars. I think we all agree Jason Becker is an exception. Not only is he incredibly awesome, but these guitars go to support him. Unfortunately, I bought it used, so he probably doesn't get a cut of that, but uh, I believe Carvin does, or Kiesel uh, donates the proceeds to the Jason Becker models to the Jason Becker Foundation. So good cause and really, really amazing player and guy. So that's great. The neck is nice and plain on this one. It's just a one piece, regular maple neck. Same deal as all Kiesels. This is gonna have those two carbon fiber reinforced rods, which keep it, you know, dead straight. And usually you don't see a lot of, you know, changes in the neck with the weather. Ebony fretboard, and this ebony is black. So I don't know. I don't know if they picked this out because they're taking pictures of it for the website, but this is a really good looking piece of ebony. It is sharp. So the, 
Okay, so the green inlays, hear me out. I don't love block inlays, and I don't really like neon green block inlays until I tried it, and here's, here's what happened. I'm, I'm a pretty visual guy. I get lost on the fretboard a lot. Guitars with no fret markers are nearly unplayable for me. I, I need the markers. I'm not that good. So this guitar, it turns out I get lost less on this than any of my other guitars because at a glance, you really know where you're at. You're not going to miss these, these inlays. They are bright and they are big. And it turns out the block inlays are a lot easier to keep track of when compared to let's say dots that just run either on the top or or even like a strat style right down the middle sometimes when you're you know playing maybe on the the high two strings it's kind of hard to tell where that inlay is and it's easy to lose track of where you are block inlays solve that so it's one of those things i've never liked and i might just do a complete reversal. Um, they're they're actually functional, and I might want them on every guitar from now on. So that's bad. Uh, hopefully, I won't order them in neon green. But block inlays, awesome. <laughs> We have lithium pickups in this. Apparently, whoever tried to change them out and drilled through the back just gave up. Um, so these are the stock lithium pickups. Uh, I'll play some sound clips. They're super modern. They have really, really crystal clear cleans. Uh, but, you know, it's not, not going to be a Strat sound. These are very modern pickups. And I think with Crunch, they sound great too. So, you know, not everybody likes lithium pickups. I understand why but if you're looking for a modern tone i think they're awesome and definitely worth keeping <laughs> Uh, same hip shot bridge I have on my other, uh, the Aries right there. And the difference is, is this one doesn't have the saddle problem. And that is because the neck is lower. So this guitar does not share the only gripe I have with the Aries, which is the saddles are basically sticking straight in the air. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, Cause it's, it's a great bridge. So if you just avoid that one problem, then there's no problem at all. As always, great knobs. Kiesel's hardware is amazing. Feels like it's really high quality and smooth. Good, good action to the knob. Five-way switch. Nice uh, Made in America Kiesel jack. I don't, I don't know what it says Made in USA on it, but I think that might mean the guitar, not the jack. I don't know what brand the jack is. Uh, like I mentioned in the other review, the inside of the control cavity is, I mean, they do really, really, really sharp work. It's really clean in there. It's all, uh, you know, shielded with foil. Let's talk about this neck joint. Uh, this, this is a really, really nice neck joint. And I think it's a combination of two things. One, 
you know, it's a neck through, you just can't go wrong with that design. And two, this is the thinner profile uh, Kiesel neck, and it's pretty thin. And so between the two of them, I mean, it just kind of disappears right into the body. You, it's, it's, it's a really comfortable guitar. So let, let's talk about the neck. Uh, I've, I've never had a thinner profile Kiesel neck. And this, this uh, areas, where is it, is um, the regular neck. And it's, and it's already pretty thin. So I was thinking, oh man, this might be a little too thin. Um, I, I would say for me, it's not, but this is getting pretty thin. Um, this, it's, it's slightly round all the way around. There's no like flat bit on the back, like some of those shreddy guitars. And I think it's pretty comfortable, but it, um, it's not significantly thinner than the standard Kiesel neck, but it is getting there. It's pretty thin. Frets, uh, these are probably jumbo stainless steel frets. They're, they're large enough where your finger barely touches the fretboard, if at all. So, um, it's a little different from what I'm used to, but I'm actually starting to kind of get what the appeal of that is. And with a light touch, it uh, you know frets the note and it sounds good. It takes a little bit of getting used to, um, but it definitely has that really fast feel because it's almost like there's no fretboard there. So it's not scalloped, but you know getting there. The fretwork on this is pretty, pretty good. Uh, there's no sharp edges. There's a, just a slight roll to the neck that they've kind of incorporated in the frets. So, you know, somebody's probably taken a block and it's just straight over on the uh, kind of edge of the neck. And it's, it's quite comfortable. Uh, the only thing I'll point out, and this is no fault of Kiesel's, but these frets are pretty big. So if you do that, you can feel it because they're big frets. Um, you know, there's obviously not a solution to that sort of thing and it's not really a problem, but this feels different than say doing that on like an ESP with kind of more traditional frets. This color is wild. Uh, you know, Kiesel's got a really good paint shop. All of their paint jobs are nice. Uh, even the little details like where it's masked off uh, around the fretboard and you know, where the, uh, I, I believe this is a tongue oil neck. So this is basically almost raw, just light oil. And then it just kind of seamlessly has this real nice little lip and it just starts with the paint. And that's actually apparently something that's pretty hard to do because I've had nice, nice high-end guitars that had worse uh, transitions here. The biggest offender was I had a Warrior brand guitar, not the Jackson. And that guitar had a really sloppy version of this kind of neck uh, and the paint stopping. And you could see where they masked it and it chipped a little. And there was multiple layers that didn't really end at the same spot. So it looked crummy. This is, I mean, the fit and finish on this is wonderful. And I always, you know, every time I look at these Kiesels, they're spotless. There's nothing to complain about. Uh, I really scrutinized this one, seeing if there was something I could pick on. I've, I've heard people say, oh, the side dots are, you know, not 100% lined up. They are. They're lumen lay on this, which is cool, I guess. There's, there's just nothing on this guitar other than the, you know, previous owner's damage. And, you know, it's, it's, two three millimeter dots on the back of the guitar. I can live with that, especially for the price. Okay, so the last thing we gotta talk about is the price. This guitar bone stock, just standard every option is 1250-ish from Kiesel. You probably have to buy a case too, so I'm gonna call it 1300 bucks. I think um, some, some Kiesel options are very fairly priced uh, for what you get, whereas other options add up very quickly. So, my best advice for ordering a Kiesel is stick to the options where you get a lot of value for not a lot of money. So for example, if you want a bird's eye maple fretboard, I think it's only like, you know, 60 bucks or something like that. That's awesome. It's something you touch. It's something you look at constantly and it's not that much money. But if 
you want a flame top, then all of a sudden that adds, you know, six plus hundred dollars to the guitar. That's, that's not really where I see the value in Kiesel guitars, but you know, if that's what, what you want, they'll, they'll make it. At 1200, I think this is a wonderful deal. It's simple, it plays wonderfully, it looks absolutely jaw-droppingly 80s hilarious, and it's just comfortable. It's light, it feels good, the neck feels good, the bridge feels good, the pickups sound good. It's a great guitar for $1,200. If you can find one used for even cheaper, absolutely go for it. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, Kiesel, home run. I, I don't know if they can do any wrong. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.